So in the previous video, we discussed the overview of the Fitness Challenge app uh, for this demo app. Uh, we'll discuss the design screen and setting up the variables in this video. So if we can take a look, we, our design screen is set up. We have a little title here. We have a text box here and a text box here for their name and the age and the submit button. We have uh, a table arrangement with three uh, spinners and a button. Uh, on each of these spinners, we have set up uh, the days of the week. If we take a look here, the activities and the time, uh, and then the add button. Below that, we have the show data and the clear data. And then uh, below that, even further, uh, we have our labels for the total amounts and averages that will show up. And then we have our list view down here and our hidden component of a notifier. Now again, remember this is just the demo app to show the basics. Uh, please remember to design your own screen and uh, do a flow chart on how you're going to progress on this. But just to go through the basic app, we're going to initialize a bunch of variables this time. I think we're going to have eight, if I can think. So variable one is just the days that we're going to enter. So the uh, what the user enters for days, what the user enters uh, for activities, what the user enters for uh, activity minutes. We're going to have to have a variable to display for the user. So we're going to have a display list. We're going to have our sum. We're going to have our average, the age of the user, and then the name of the user as well are all things that we're keeping track of. Now, this is a great spot in your own personal app development that you can start thinking about uh, how you're going to store some of this data using your tiny DB storage, what variables are you going to store, where are you going to store them, and how you're going to call them up as well. So our variables here are pretty simple. Uh, all our entries, because the user hasn't added any data, all equal uh, empty lists, because we're going to create those lists. So we have four empty lists to start off for all of our entries and our displays, the sum and the average, because the user doesn't have any data in, and then, of course, the age and the name. So all this data that we're looking at collecting here, we have now created variables for. Uh, and that will eventually display uh, the averages and the sums in this section and down here in our list view.